Pretty cool video for the geeks and us here. Another successful trip to the edge of space on Saturday for Blue Origin, the private space flight company owned by Miami Palmetto graduate Jeff Bezos. Michael Strahan and father and son from South Florida. They were among the passenger, passengers, I should say, on the latest flight, tourism flights, I should say. The new Shepard rocket blasted off the launch pad there in Texas and returned just minutes later. It was the 13th human space flight mission of the year. That's more than any other year in history. Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket pierced the West Texas sky, taking six passengers 65 miles up into the edge of space. For a few minutes, the passengers floated around the crew capsule before safely landing back on Earth. It was Blue Origin's third passenger flight ever, capping off a busy year in commercial space travel. In July, Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson rocketed to space aboard his company's space plane. I was once a child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now I'm an adult in a spaceship. Days later, Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos got his turn, becoming one of his company's first astronauts. Weightlessness. Captain Kirk himself, actor William Shatner, experienced a few minutes of weightlessness on Blue Origin's next flight. It was unbelievable. But they were all topped by this fall's SpaceX Inspiration 4 mission, the first all civilian trip to orbit, three days circling the Earth. Is this a real experience? I, I think it just kind of opened your eyes to how much more there is out there that we don't really experience, you know, in our day to day lives. Today's passengers on Blue Origin's mission, four paying customers. South Florida venture capitalist Lane Bess and his son Cameron, they're the first parent-child duo in space. Dylan Taylor, a space industry investor, and Evan Dick, an engineer and investor. ABC's Michael Strahan and Laura Shepard Churchley also joined the crew. Shepard, the daughter of famed astronaut Alan Shepard, the first American in space. His era, not, you know, 60 years ago, was so different mm -hmm. from today. I mean, I still can't believe that nobody was driving that spaceship. Do you approve of, of the original Shepard on the new Shepard? Yes. You do? Yes. I'm very proud of it. Carly Barnett, CBS4 This Morning. Upon landing, the passengers celebrated with champagne showers and hugs from their loved ones. Blue Origin hasn't announced their next mission, but they have already sold out seats on several upcoming flights. The company has declined, though, to publicly state the price of a ticket to space.